Graduating student, Tanner Pilon will introduce this year's Valid Victorian, Rashab Pelta. Hey guys, uh, my name is Tanner Pilon. I nominated Rishab Palta for valedictorian on March 22nd. Rishab is a very close friend of mine. I first met the guy in kindergarten at the Westwood Elementary School. Over our school years, we became close colleagues, creating straight havoc for our teachers with our constant chatting. Rishab always had the spontaneous and outrageous ideas that fueled our younger years. In grade three, we decided to start a band and dedicated our recess to writing songs. This idea did not go anywhere, but it sure bonded us and helped our little minds dream bigger and think outside the box. In other years, Rashab devoted his time to installing and maintaining an entirely new speaker system in the Western Gymnasium. He's always been one to give back to those who assisted him in the past. There were many more fantastic ideas and humble action Rashab Rashab carried out, such as our car wash, talent shows, and of course, the main man behind all these ex extemporaneous notions is Rashab. He's a tremendous leader and the only individual in this grad class I, could, I would consider a credible valedictorian. He exhibits an exceptional amount of enthusiasm and is always a positive person in any situation. Rashab, the floor is all yours. to keep the tradition going so I'm just gonna take a minute to take a selfie. <laughs> Thanks Tanner for that uh, warm introduction. I know yesterday me and him were uh, getting a couple drinks and uh, discussing strategies to calm the nerves on stage and I never understood why people said imagining the audience naked would make you feel nervous because up here I got slack, down there I got Liam, super uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my address short though because I know we all want to be in bed by 10. So uh, on behalf of Artie Parker's grad class of 2018, I would like to welcome teachers, administrators, distinguished guests, friends, and family, except those who for some reason didn't give us any graduation money. It is such a pleasure to share and capture the intensity of emotions that is filling this arena today as us graduates close this chapter of our life story. Before I get started, I wanna take a moment to thank all of you that have helped me get to this podium today, especially the teachers. From a tiny classroom in Artie Parker, they have prepared us to live and exposed, us, and exposed us to the real world. For that, we definitely owe them a thank you. To the world, they may be seen as teachers, but to students, they're seen as heroes. To the graduates, I say, please take the time to stop by and chit chat with your mentors to thank them for all they have done. Let's give the teachers and staff a huge round of applause. I'd also like to thank the grad class for believing in me and allowing me to represent our grad class. Most importantly though, graduates, we finally did it, we made it, let's give ourselves a huge round of applause. As you know it, the world we live in has many dangers to it. Ebola, global warming, AIDS, Mr. Lewis and flip-flops, Will Ferrell, war, Donald Trump, and of course, Miss Warren. 
We are graduating at a time in history where our world is facing enormous challenges. However, it is also a time in which the opportunities created by the challenges we face have never been greater. Now, a young fellow named Aaron Hawes, shout out, approached me the other day with a serious question. What exactly is graduation? Well, graduation is an event where they award you a diploma in the hope that you can actually read it, plus you get to wear these cool wizard costumes. Oh, and sorry, Liam, I guess I should have told you this earlier, but it's a good idea to wear something underneath it. <laughs> You're probably wondering where time has went. Have four years really fl flown by that fast? It feels like just the other day we were learning how to walk, holding our parents' hands, and now look at us, graduating high school and heading off into the real world. A famous philosopher once said, started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Four years ago, we walked into those beautiful white brick halls, nervous and anxious, not knowing anyone or anything. Now those same four years later, we're leaving the school behind to a whole new crowd of people. However, leaving with the friendships and memories we made with our teachers and peers. Looking back to grade nine, it felt like it was just yesterday. There was the first day of school, the first game, the first concert, the first test, the first time watching Mr. Beck's deadlifting videos, the first time saying, Slack, you're bald. <laughs> and of course, the first time getting picked on by the seniors. But as time grew, so did we. we. We took positions of leadership. We became responsible, considerate, and respectable. We grade 12s would never, ever, ever do something immature to the freshmen or the school. We didn't pick on them. We just zip tied their lockers and blocked off the hallways. Now, I'm not saying we did anything immature during our high school years because looking up at us, I am positive we were all home on time and respected the laws of the city at all times. And if you believe that, then you'll definitely believe Mr. Fisher's handing out $100 bills after this. Although time has flown by, I must say that in the time we spent here, we made a lot of memories. We probably won't remember everything we learned here. However, we will always, always, always remember the important things. For example, learning the periodic table of elements, reading Shakespeare, and probably something about numbers too. Graduation is a time where we reflect on the past and look onward to the future. As graduates, we are here together for one last celebration before we move on to bigger and better adventures. Among you are future doctors, engineers, teachers, athletes, politicians, musicians, soldiers, mechanics, chefs, and many more other bright futures. Although it feels short, it has been indeed a very, very long four years. Among these long four years, we have also made lifelong friendships, lifelong memories, learned lifelong skills and facts, and sadly, we've posted things on Twitter that will remain lifelong as well. Today is a day in which we look forward, a day in which we set goals, a day in which we dream new dreams. Life ahead of us is going to be a very rocky road. It's not gonna be no walk in the park. So set goals, be patient, take small steps, and don't be afraid to take risks. Open those wings and fly to see what lies beyond for you in this world. Follow your path, stay true to yourself, follow your passion. Never follow someone else's path unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means you should probably follow that. But you've heard this again, but I'm gonna repeat it anyways. A beautiful line from Dr. Seuss says, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the person who will decide where to go. So graduates, dream new dreams. Set goals and push boundaries to do whatever it takes to make this world a better place. Always remember where you came from and always remember where you are going. But most importantly, always remember us, the graduating class of 2018. Congratulations and thank you very much.